Jackie Singh, bankrupt, fat, brown, ugly, stupid, has decided to go after another random person and failed to accident them and accuse them of being a uh, uh, a Russian agent. Um, this time she's going after someone named June Cole, or June Cho, I don't know how you pronounce that, uh, who bills herself as an activist, researcher, consultant, and allegedly a political operative. In the New York Times, Washington Post, USA Today, Kiev Post, NATO Hybrid COE, plan to vote November 5th, hashtag NAFO, uh, belonging to nonprofits, and she says that her location is the CIA in Langley, Virginia. Uh, Jackie Singh replies and says, official warning to... Oh my god, okay, let me see how you actually pronounce this, hold up. English to Korean, and then I'm going to do this. Jun Cho. I was right, Jun Cho. I got it right the first time. Damn, I'm good. Okay. Uh, Jackie says, Official warning to Jun Cho, get your trolls off me or I will end everything you've worked hard to build. Uh, which sounds like uh, literal extortion, criminal felony extortion, the kind that you would owe stalker and joy prison for saying. Um, but then she says, Hey, NAFO fellas, consider asking Jun Cho why she left... Why he? Oh, it's a man. Oh my God, it is. How embarrassing. Um, consider asking Jun Cho why he let his law degree lapse. Those of you who are good at OSN will be able to piece things together. I don't have the time to for a detailed breakdown right now, but NAFO should avoid donating to his pact. Can your law degree lapse? Is that even a thing? How do you how do you lose your law degree? Can law degrees expire? No, a law degree does not expire. Okay, then. Sorry, I'm hearing a weird noise that's freaking me out. Um, so... June, oh, June Cho actually responds and says, uh, I'm showing you here, one, hacking but legal, doubling down on her claim that I am suspended California attorney Un Jun Cho, spelled completely differently, with a lapsed law degree. The top Google image result for that name, I actually don't know which Asian guy it is. Three, a meme that one of my sock puppets made from my last video. It mentions India's research and analysis wing, which I said it's not the same as that wrestling thing, Raw. You know, like, Raw is war. Remember the Triple H? So, yeah. Juncho also says, The most incredibly fucking stupid thing about this all, Jackie, is I don't have a law degree. You looked at my fucking LinkedIn when you were making fun of me. You don't think I'd list that on my LinkedIn? Jackie, I'm being real here. You need to talk to somebody because this is not rational behavior. Okay, so he doesn't even have a law degree, and he's not an attorney. Uh, Elaine Ashton at Smoking Pancake says, what the fuck is she on about? Why is she gunning at you in particular? I know who she is and a little of her history, but though she's not a real hacker, she seems to have lost her mind a little. He says, it doesn't matter in the end. The kind of person who goes around just rotating through new victims until they get tired of it or into trouble for it. The mistaking that people make is thinking they can't avoid it. It's a sunk cost. Yeah, that's basically it. There are people like that. Jackie would definitely be one of those people who just, like, goes after random people to try to, like, knock them down for whatever reason. Just to, like, build herself up, but she's, like, a loser. Oh, he did, like, a full video. What the fuck? It's 11 minutes long. You want substantive critique on your speculations on Ryan Wesley Ruth? Here you go. The core problem with Singh's logical style is her misusage and exaggeration of evidence and her startling inability to perform even basic verification and due diligence on those claims she presents. This becomes extremely clear with the benefit of additional public investigation of the second Trump assassination attempt when looking at Singh's original assertion regarding the same, which she was so eager to defend a few weeks ago. Irrespective of how right or wrong she is, her frankly annoying pattern of sadistic, seemingly personal attacks on random people... These patterns of argument call for rejection of hacking, but legal claims on face for bad faith, deceptive addu adduction of evidence, and failure to perform basic due diligence, and for a higher level of dubiety. This guy's very, very sophisticated in his writing stuff. 
uh, to be applied to any complex assertion she makes or hasn't made, because there's good risk when you scratch the surface, it's going to look like this threads is. Jackie replies um, with her own fancy words, saying, NAFO scammer Jun Cho is currently on overdrive trying to discredit me. Watch him froth and churn as he vehemently denies that I publicly linked his hidden ID to his current and uses sock puppet accounts to claim I have nothing else. Fella Grievous. Wow, that is such a cringe username. So the guys that are like pro North, like pro NATO, they call themselves fellas because they're like just stealing old, like right wing memes. And then they give themselves like Sith names, like Fella Grievous. They're actually like this. These people are out there supporting a military alliance that has eroded human rights and free speech in the United States and the West for 50 years. Uh, do you stand by your assertion that June is the same person who identified him as the CIA bar database showing someone lost their law license? You're positive you did your due diligence on that. And she says, yes. Uh, Ming the merciless fella says, ah, but June, you don't really need a law degree to get disbarred as a lawyer. You need to first pass the bar exam to get disbarred. Uh, Jackie says, you sure know a lot about him. Only a person with intimate knowledge of his life could make such a suggestive counterclaim. Um, oh, and then Ukraine Kit, which is just Ukrainian for cat, says, decided to do some digging of my own. Is this you? And then it says, report, Biden campaign cybersecurity expert linked to Gay Nigger Association of America Hackers, also known as the GNAA. And Jackie says, no, you're amplifying Kremlin propaganda that targeted Dems during the last election. Um, so I will recap this for anyone new to Jackie Singh, in case you're wondering. Um, Jackie is a little curry-flavored dingleberry. She's never accomplished anything in her entire life besides shitting out two kids that she doesn't have custody of. Um, she Like, if you're one of those people that's like the family courts are always woman-sided, imagine what a fuck-up she must be to lose custody of two of her own kids. Um, she's currently bankrupt because she keeps taking out loans for businesses that all fail. Um, she is a disgusting loser currently hiding in Puerto Rico. Um, but back in the day, 10 years ago plus, she was trying to... Uh, the GNAA was like a respected hacking group. They did a lot of like meme stuff because their, their whole thing was just like trolling, basically. They did some other stuff, but trolling was like their forte. And they kind of had like a high um, public... Uh, public like perception or whatever so she would be hang out in their irc and like try to talk to people and make friends and nobody ever actually let her into the gnaa she claimed to have been a former gnaa member that turned white hat or gray hat or whatever after the fact uh, but that's untrue everybody at the gnaa uh, has denounced her and said that she's a fucking loser retard and then after people started making fun of her for being associated with this, um, she now denies it. <laughs> Even though she went out of her way for years to try and falsely claim that she was a member of this group that didn't want anything to do with her. Uh, now she has to eat, eat fucking crow because now it's not cool to be a member. Fat and brown, skin looks like poo. Giant hands. <laughs> oh, this is a full video. I want to hear what this guy sounds like. Hi, everybody. It's June. So, today I'm going to June. explain to you uh, what exactly is wrong with this tweet right here and also the person who issued that tweet. So, to start off real quick, right, it says, hey, don't donate to June because he's uh, this shady lawyer who let his law degree lapse. Uh, she actually means attorney certification, not law degree, because a law degree obviously doesn't lapse. It's right, being barred that would lapse. But anyway, she says, oh, I don't have time for a detailed breakdown. It's very complicated. It must be really complicated, right? So, but NAFO, don't donate to his pack. This guy's shady. Okay. Um, first, I don't even know if any NAFO, have any of you actually donated to, I don't even know if any NAFO fellows have donated to the pack. I, I saw a bunch of people that I recognize actually from uh, Facebook donating to the pack. But anyway. This thing where there's like a whole group of people that like identify by these call signs kind of makes me think this is like a gay retarded inverse of like poll. Where they're just like, this is like Sargon of Akkad or something. And he's like, I don't know if any poll tards have donated to my uh, my UKIP foundation. I am doing trans-European politics, but 
Uh, I will now debunk her claims, line by line. And then you have this guy like, hey guys, I don't know if any of you gay faggots with the Ukraine flag um, calling yourself fellas uh, have donated money to my pack, but... Fascinating. Now there's one more thing. Uh, someone called her out. Let's see, this is the post. Uh, Joe the Independent um, says, I'm confident that you were actively misidentifying Jun Cho as Christopher Un Jun Cho. I encourage you to retract your statement. Misidentifying an individual in a manner that damages their reputation, i.e. misidentifying them as an attorney suspended for the practice of law, gives rise to the claim of defamation in both New York and California. You are now on notice that your identification is erroneous. Subsequent repetition will evidence a reckless disregard for the truth, which supports a finding of actual malice should the court find that June Cho is a public figure. For the purpose of a claim against your defamation, I encourage you to publicly retract your statement uh, misidentifying Jun Cho. Um, this is accurate. Asking for a retraction and uh, identifying to the person who has made the face false claim that their claims are in fact false and having them refuse to do so is evidence of actual malice, which can circumvent both a public figure de uh, defense and also, it can be used to get punitive damages outside of actual damages in a defamation claim. So, Joe the Independent is, uh, to the best of my knowledge, on point. Uh, Jackie Singh replies to this accurate information by saying, Retract your threat of litigation immediately. Um, now, there is no... <laughs> there is no tort for threatening to sue somebody. Um, and there is no onus on him to retract anything. So... Uh, Jackie does not know what she's talking about, but I'm not sure that would surprise anybody, huh? Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.